Star Trek Into Darkness has hit the cinemas and has raised the big question that we've all been asking since the 60s. When are we going to get our own USS Starship Enterprise? Because it did seem that by now we would be exploring the furthest reaches of the universe in a massive spaceship, but it hasn't happened. In fact, in 1964, when Gene Roddenberry created the series Star Trek, he originally made Spock's character a Martian, but was told to change it because everyone said, don't be silly, we will be walking on that planet by the time this series ends. One mysterious engineer with 30 years experience behind him thinks he's worked out how we can build the ship. And he's created a website called buildtheenterprise.com. His name is BTE Dan. And BTE Dan has laid out complete plans for how we can make this ship a reality. It stretches 960 meters long. That's longer than the tallest building on Earth. The website contains everything you need to know in order to make this ship, from financial breakdowns to a hundred year plan in order to show the generations of ships that need to be made, all the way through to how it's going to work in a technological sense. Now obviously it's going to be a bit different to the classic USS Enterprise in that A, we don't know how to go to warp drive, i.e. faster than the speed of light. However, BTE Dan seems totally aware of all the complications involved in building such a spaceship. And that's why he's designed a 100 year roadmap. To begin with, we're gonna have a spaceship that's gonna get us to Mars, to Venus, and to the moon, doing eight missions. It's gonna take 90 days to get us to Mars. The second generation of his spaceship is gonna be built in 2037, and that's gonna get us to Mars in 29 days. And then the third generation of the spaceship, which is gonna be built in 2067, is gonna get us to Mars in four days. But is the idea sound? Sort of. A lot of people are saying that it's a very practical idea, but in practice, it's a bit of a problem. For example, if you wanted to build something that large, a sphere or a cylinder would be a much better idea at holding the pressure of a vacuum. Think of like a scuba tank or a submarine. Also, there's a big flaw with the Enterprise's proposed gravity system, which is apparently a giant spinning wheel that's magnetically suspended inside the ship's hull. Uh, this would, of course, produce mega problems for steering. But what Dan now needs is awareness. And the way he's gone about doing this is he's written to President Obama for the Obama administration's We the People policy. Now the idea behind this program is that you as a citizen can write to the American president with a concern, and if you raise enough signatures around your concern from other members of the public, they will write a response to you. Unfortunately, BTE Dan didn't get enough signatures in order to get a response, which is a shame because uh, another petition called Deport Piers Morgan managed to get the right amount of signatures, and so did another one that was asking for the construction of the Death Star from Star Wars, which is a ridiculous idea. The Death Star is too financially impossible to do. It would cost $862 quadrillion to make. That's 13,000 times the amount of money we have on Earth. And even to produce the steel alone would take 833,000 years. So that's not a practical idea. So what if our dreams of building a Starship Enterprise do actually come true and we manage to make it? Where are we gonna go? Well, scientists estimate that there are roughly 50 to 100 billion habitable planets in the Milky Way. Now, if we're looking for life, the key thing we need to find is water. So the question is, have we already had contact with alien life form on our planet? Well, again, as a part of the Obama administration's We the People program, a question was actually asked if we had made contact with extraterrestrial life. The signatures were raised, but the answer unfortunately was no, we haven't. But what we really need to be doing is getting off Earth and exploring space for ourselves. And the USS Enterprise is the perfect vessel for it. And BTE, Dan, we're right behind you in your plans for making it a reality. Plus, it should be really fun. If the original blueprints are anything to go by, there's going to be a six lane bowling alley up on deck 21 that doubles as a dance hall. I'll see you at the disco, the space disco. And by the way, if you want to hear more of these head squeeze videos on space, press the subscribe button down here. They've interviewed an astronaut. It's, it's awesome.